So the thing that was significantly different with this part as to some of the other things that we've looked at is that I created a single note part, which is just uh, an F. And the reason I thought about doing it in this way was to not take away from the bass line, which is very, you know, busy, uh, has a lot of notes. Uh, that's the bass line. One. One. And I'm thinking, well, where is a note there that's not in the way of any of those bass notes? And listen. That's why I ended up on the on the on the on on this F, and uh, and even uh, deciding a choice to put it down here as opposed to putting a part way up there on top, because uh, what I'm thinking is I want to be in that bass groove, but without uh, without uh, you know being in a register that puts it too far on top because there's not a lot of other instrumentation there. And then the next thing that I noticed was there is, there's no hi-hat. So I thought, wow, that could be cool to let the guitar rhythm take the place of the hi-hat. So in creating this part, as opposed to just doing bop, bop, um, and why did I pick this? Bop, 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 bop. Because that's where the bass is fine to bop, bop, da, 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 bop, right there. Uh, one, two, uh, one E, the E of three. One, two, bop, bop. That's what the bass is doing. De, do, 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 bop, do, do, bing, do, 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 bop. So I thought, wow, that'd be cool. And the, and the drums are just driving those quarter notes. So I thought, wow, that could be cool. Bop, 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 bop. Bop, bop, bop. And then the next thought is, well, okay, that works great, but how interesting would it have been if I had just been bop? Wow, well, that's, that's not terribly interesting, but <laughs> the, I think adding the scratch with the single notes is a, is a really great way to add some extra energy in a way, and that is you're muting all the strings. Strings, you know, uh, some people call I generally call it chicken scratch. Some people call it skank. I, I, you know, you know maybe Brad is in there. I, you know, maybe he has a term for, you know, he go has some funk and groove roots. Um, but whatever it is, you're scratching the strings and you're adding the note in with those scratches. As opposed to, you hear how much more energy that has? Scratching all the strings. So, and now we're adding those 16th notes. Three, four. And that's a constant. And once again, here's another example of, of the importance of locking in your 16th note rhythms. Because this is very simple. You're only playing one, two, one, two, the, the E of three and four. The rhythm is simple. Bop, 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 bop. And then with this. And that's where the drive is in the, in, in the scratches, you know. And that's taking up the space that maybe some in, in a different beat, maybe the hi-hat would be in there playing those 16th notes. But in that the drums are just that static pulse, I thought that would be a great way <laughs> was to add the scratch in with the guitar. So give that a try. And, and it's really, you know, like with all the examples, I'm going to repeat myself probably on every single uh, performance, you know, locking in the time. All right, give it a shot.